Hello and welcome to the People Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of October 18th, 16th, 2020. Wow, I'm trying to time travel you guys forward by two days. What if things would change by then, right? But as far as the Stimulus Check and the Stimulus Package Update goes, um, basically President Trump told Steve Mnuchin to increase the budget higher than the $1.88 trillion that's currently on the table. But not to go as high as the $2.2 trillion that Nancy Pelosi wants. But the Republicans say that they won't support any spending over $1.88 trillion. Mitch McConnell says that the first he wants to try to pass a skinny standalone bill for $500 million. But Trump says he was willing to go to the um, support of this. He's basically, he says that if he, Mnuchin will increase the stimulus uh, thing above $1.88 trillion that he will get the backing of the Senate is what Trump is saying. Pelosi wrote a letter to her fellow Democrats saying there's help on the way because the stimulus package will be safer, bigger, better, and retroactive. Ooh, a nice retroactive stimulus check. Does that mean that the 1200 bucks people get will be retroactive for four months back? <laughs> Giving them like $4,800. Wouldn't that be nice? COVID-19 cases are increasing rapidly in the United States. So they're basically going up a lot in the United States. But cases are raising even faster in Europe. Trump says he is, says he is willing to go higher than the $1.88 trillion, but not as much as Pelosi wants. Trump told Mnuchin to go into negotiations and offer more than $1.88 trillion dollars uh, but McConnell says that the president is willing to go higher than the Senate Republicans are. Now, the Senate Republicans don't want to go past $1.8 trillion, but, but Donald Trump is. But Trump's not willing to go to $2.2 trillion. He also wanted to say that he would rather pass a smaller bill for $500 million for small businesses and the self-employed, in other words, a second round of paycheck protection money, and focus on testing hospitals, schools, and the um, legal liability protection that they keep talking about. If the Democrats and Republicans can agree on a stimulus, it actually would not need the full vote of the Senate to pass. Meaning basically that they could basically pass a stimulus check with only half the vote of the Senate as long as there's an equal amount of uh, Senate Republicans and Democrats that actually agree upon the stimulus package. Trump said that he is willing to sign a big, beautiful stimulus and that he will continue the Senate. He will basically convince the Senate Republicans to back him on a more experienced, sorry, exclusive stimulus package. And Trump blames China for for what's going on. Basically, he also says that China will pay, will be paying, one paying for the stimulus package. I think that's why he wants to raise up so much, is because he's going to try to put it off on China. And we all know China will not pay for a massive stimulus package. That would not be in their best interest. And he also blames Pelosi for not passing the stimulus package. And that's nothing new. Democrats facing, uh, uh, sorry, Republicans uh, blaming Democrats and vice versa. This is a game of politics. The, the main issues that still need to be negotiated are the state and local government assistance, corporate tax credits. Now, why do we need corporate tax credits when they've been getting tax credits for years? I mean, come on, they, they hardly pay anything in taxes as is. Because of all the tax credits that the Republicans are giving them. Well, it's about time that we actually start making them pay their fair share of tax credits. Because, well, not tax credits, but their fair share of taxes to help out our economy. This thing, the same thing goes with the very wealthy. They need to start paying their fair share of taxes as well. And then plus also tax credits for individuals. So I don't know what individuals we get we get getting tax credits. But, hey, individual tax credits. Funding for the post office, funding for the census, and liability protection yet again. That's the liability protection word. 
That's what the Republicans want. The Democrats don't want it because the Democrats are saying that the Republicans are only caring about the businesses and not the employees, whereas the Democrats care about the employees for the businesses. President Trump says he is hopeful for a peaceful transfer of power if he loses the election, but he's continued to raise concern about voter fraud and the um the how the basically the, how the results come out. Uh, there's he's he's saying that there's going to be a bunch of voter fraud in there. Well, if his Republican supporters follow what he says about voting twice, then yeah, there's going to be a lot of voter fraud and a lot of people going to going to jail for for basically a felony because they followed what Donald Trump said. Like in the very beginning, if you guys remember, when Donald Trump said that, hey, he, he actually didn't really say it. He mentioned it to one of the doctors on the TV show about, you know, how about a disinfectant like Clorox. And then, like, days later, you hear about people actually drinking Clorox because President Trump mentioned it. I mean, come on, really? I mean, you're going to drink Clorox bleach as a disinfectant to try to get rid of the virus. Well... For those people who actually did drink a lot of it and realize that, yeah, it got rid of your virus, but it also cost you your life because you're stupid enough to drink the bleach. Sorry, but if you're going to follow President Trump's bad advice, then you deserve what you get. I don't follow anyone's advice that's in the politicians because they really don't represent me. Even though I try to be a Democrat on the Democratic side, but sometimes I'm also on the Republican side. But yet, currently, this whole year, Neither side has really actually impressed me to the point where I actually care about either of them. Mitch McConnell, leader of the Senate Republicans, is basically nixing every single stimulus package that comes out there. He's going to probably nix this next one that's coming out too. That's supposed to be more than $1.88 trillion because he doesn't want to spend over $1.8 trillion because he's worried about our national deficit. Well, if he hasn't been paying attention to the other countries they're also having a national deficit as well because nothing's really happening they're going back into lockdown people are going to go back into isolation so their deficit is going to go up as well so i don't know what's up with, with all this stuff i mean i don't want people to be getting infected with covid19 that's a bad thing but if our sitting Republicans are going to worry about our national deficit over the people that actually can work it down, which would be called all the Americans of America, then the Republicans need to have a new ch change of leadership. And then also the Democrats with Nancy Pelosi trying to push the $2.2 trillion mark and also saying to her fellow Democrats that we have more leverage now than we did before. And she's saying it because of Thing, saying that because of Trump wants to spend more money for the stimulus package because he thinks he's going to build China for this and China's going to come back and laugh at him and point at him and laugh at him and come an idiot but we're not going to pay for your pandemic you moron pay for it yourself is what they're going to tell our president and I actually look forward to hearing that on the news too that'd be awesome but until next time this is and always will be the people stimulus check and stimulus package update as of August, October 16th. Sorry about that. Time traveling again with you guys. Thank you. <laughs> October 16th, 2020. You guys have a wonderful night and an excellent Friday.